I'm going to show you how to draw an ellipse. And for this, we're going to need a few tools. We're going to need a ruler, a hammer, a few finished nails, a writing instrument, a compass, and some string. Now, we're going to make our ellipse is going to be 8 inches uh, for our short side and 11 inches for our long side. So we're going to start out with what's known as the major axis or the long side. And I've created a line and then I've set two points that are 11 inches apart. From here, we can use our compass to create the perpendicular bisector of this line. Once we've got those points established, then we can draw out our minor axis, which crosses over our major axis. Now, because we're going to be making ours 8 inches in, in height in this case, we're going to reset our compass to 4 inches, or the radius of that uh, 8 inches. And then we're going to set it on the center point of the two lines, and we're going to draw out an, uh, the endpoints for our minor axis. Now, you don't necessarily have to draw the full circle around here. I ended up doing that just for reference for me. But really, all you got to do is create two arcs across your minor axis to pick up the two points. Now, what we're going to be doing next is picking up the focus points, or the foci, of our ellipse. And to accomplish that, once we've established these four points, we'll reset our compass to the center, and then we will extend it out until it is the radius of the major axis. I'm just going to double check it on both sides to make sure that I'm completely centered, and then we can reset our compass with that measurement down to one of the endpoints of our minor axis and then strike an arc across the major axis on both sides. Where those arcs intersect the major axis, that becomes the focus points for our ellipse. Those are the points that we're going to drive our finish nails in, one on each one of those points, and then we'll drive a third nail on the end of the minor axis to create our, uh, to be ready to, for our string. So we'll set those three nails and then we'll bring our string in. Now I'm using masonry string here and uh, you can put pretty much any knot you want so long as it doesn't slip. I found that square knots in this particular type of string, they kind of tend to slip a little bit if they're not really super tight. So I like to use a trucker's hitch here just to make sure that, to ensure that the, the knot doesn't loosen up on me. And what we're trying to accomplish is to keep the string nice and taut across all three of those. We don't want it to be over tight, but we don't want it to be loose either uh, because then that's going to change our ellipse. And what we're trying to do is create the ellipse to, that will fall exactly on those four outer points that we created. So it's, I just like to use this knot because it just doesn't give. Once we've got that set, then we'll take the bottom nail out that's on the minor axis and now we're ready to bring our writing instrument in to draw out our ellipse. We want to keep it nice and tight across here. Uh, I use a needlepoint pin because they tend to slip on the string less than like a or catch less than something like a, a pencil but you can see that even at the front of this one uh, I had a little bit of issue with it. Now we'll draw out our arc. We just want to make sure that we keep our string tight and then I'll do half the arc uh, half the ellipse and then I'll rotate the string around so that the knot in the string doesn't interfere with what I'm drawing out. And then we'll create the other half. Now in a future video I will show you how we implement this in the real world, how it's used in construction and I probably use this about two dozen times a year or something like that but first it's important to know this method to drawing out our ellipse before we move on. This is how you use the pen and string method.